Good morning on this Sunday. Hope you're having a great day. This week's Torah portion will begin the portion of Lech Lecha, where we are introduced to Abraham, the first Jew, the first of the patriarchs, and one who billions of people call their father. Abraham was iconic in so many ways. But the beginning of this week's Torah portion, Lech Lecha, which means go for yourself, is the first introduction we get to Abraham when he's 75 years old and God sends him on a journey. He says, leave your comfort zone, leave your home, leave your surroundings, leave your family and go change the world. Go make a difference. And Abraham travels not knowing where God doesn't tell him at that point where he's going to go, but he tells him to go. And Abraham becomes a voice for monotheism, for faith in one God, for morality in a world gone crazy. Abraham was illuminating the world with faith in one God who he discovered on his own with kindness, with generosity, opening his tent on all four sides to share with everyone and with his choice of morality, of how he spoke and how he shared the vision of godliness. It's interesting because Abraham is called Abraham of Ha'ivri, Abraham the Hebrew. And the word Ivri comes from the word Aver, the other side. And the rabbis tell us that one of the you, reasons Abraham was called from the other side is because he was on Euph the Euphrates and everyone was on the other side of the water. But there's a much deeper significance, the rabbis tell us, that Abraham had the courage and the strength to go against the tide. Abraham was able to stand against the whole world who believed in paganism and idolatry and cry out, there is one God that we all have to worship. Abraham had the courage and the strength to be one and stand for what is right. And that's what he gifted to us, the Jewish people. For centuries, the Jewish people have been a voice for morality, for faith in God, for kindness, ethics and moral guidelines for the world. And I think about what's been going on the last year, since October 7th, and how the Jewish people have been on a road from October 7th. Wars on two fronts, seven different countries trying to kill us, and yet the Jewish people have traveled and gone and continued and fought in such heroic ways. That's the story of Abraham. That's the story of the Jewish people. Last week I was speaking to my first cousin who lives in Israel, and he was sharing with me that he was at the Shiva house of this remarkable rabbi who was only 43 years old, Rabbi Avi Goldberg. He was a rabbi in the high school, the principal in the high school, Himmelfarb High School in Jerusalem. And he was on reserve duty for 250 days since October 7th, a father of eight children. And tragically, he died last week. A remarkable person. They loved music, and with their music, him and his wife brought so many people together. She... He played the clarinet, she played the violin. And in fact, just before he was killed, he was home for a couple of days. And you see the video of how he gathered so many Jews in his community and him and his wife played music and they sang these beautiful songs, uplifting everybody. Rabbi Avi wanted to unite Jews. And one of the things he did was every single Yom Kippur, he would go be the chazan, the cantor, in a secular kibbutz. And this year, he wasn't able to because he was on Miloim, he was on a reserve duty up in Lebanon. And he asked his oldest son if he could go in his stead, in his place, to make sure that these people had a service. He cared about everyone. And he loved in such a remarkable way, life, humanity, and the people of Israel. But even after he tragically died, and you see by the funeral, his eight children saying, Kaddish, my cousin told me how heartbreaking it was to be in the Shiva house, but he said there was yet so much hope and so much courage. And one of the remarkable things that Rachel, Rabbi Avi's wife, continued was that she invited any politicians from Israel, from the Israeli government who want to come to visit her, but on condition that if they came, they would have to bring someone from the other side of the aisle. If you were in the government, you had to bring someone from the opposition. If you were in that position, you had to bring someone from the government. She wanted to continue what her and her husband did before he died of bringing unity, bringing the Jewish people together with love and faith in one God. 
Rabbi Avi might have been killed fighting for his country, but he continued the work that Abraham set forth thousands of years ago when God told him, Lech Lecha, go forth from your land, go out of your comfort zone, go fight for your people, go protect your country, your people, your faith. And even though he passed away, his wife, Rachel, and their beloved children continue this remarkable way. Each one of us is sent into this world on a mission by God to be a light upon the nations. And may we merit to do it in a living, healthy, and kind and caring way. God.